What are you talking about? This is public access. I'm on the buildings and grounds. You cannot be here. Why? This is public access. Pardon me? This is public access. It's not, this is not public access. You cannot. Okay, but please. we're not doing anything wrong. You're not doing anything right either. Back at it, folks, and thank you for tuning back into the JFA channel. Are you, you asked us are to you, leave? Are you a township resident? I'll yes ask or no. the are questions you, you around here. What's your name? No, what's your name? I'll ask the questions around here. Uh, we're on public property no, and- this, um, isn't public. this isn't public. This isn't public. Yes, it is. Public this is public property. property. This is, well, anybody can- you guys harassing the- gentleman? Harassing? No, he came up to us. We were just standing on the sidewalk talking amongst ourselves. So as you can see here, we've got the South Holland Police Department in Illinois, not knowing the difference between public and private property. I know, stupid and ridiculous, which of course, I'm here to expose this even more which this video is taking place at this township hall in Illinois, which has been some huge issues here happening lately with the corrupt super mayor is what she calls herself. Yes, super mayor, Tiffany Henry. We in the news every single day. Referring to herself as super mayor. Hey, I'm the first, I'm the first. Super mayor. Tiffany Henyard had lots to say during Tuesday night's Thornton Township Board of Trustees meeting but she left without taking any questions. To, uh, Vegas Mayor. Which is one of the main reasons why my friend Press Harder is out there investigating at this township hall. Which this video comes to you from the channel called Press Harder. Huge thanks and a shout out for exposing this. Thank you very much. Folks, if you haven't heard of Press Harder, I highly suggest you go over there and subscribe and give him support, which he's also out here with another great activist called Broken System, Broken Trust. Both channel links will be linked down below, folks. You can go over there and show him support. Now, let me show you a quick clip here so you can have an idea how transparent this city is, which this took place a couple of weeks ago right here in this township hall. Let's go take a look, shall we? There's new controversy this afternoon for Tiffany Henyard. Dane Placco has the fiery details on the public township meeting that was abruptly shut down last night. Dane? Yeah, politicians don't always like to hear from the public, let's be honest, but uh, under the law, you do have a re right to speak uh, at part of any public meeting, which is why what happened last night in Thornton Township has some residents there outraged. Um, when I arrived, there was security here. He was standing at the bottom of the stairs preventing anybody from going up to the boardroom. I asked him if the meeting was downstairs. He replied yes. Stephanie Wiedemann was among a handful of Thornton Township residents who came to last night's board meeting to speak their mind to controversial supervisor Tiffany Henyer during the public comment section of that board meeting, which is required by law. But they never got that chance. They say they were blocked from going to the boardroom and sent to the basement instead where they were told the meeting would be held. It wasn't. Before they knew what had happened, the meeting upstairs in the boardroom was over in a matter of four minutes and Henyard was gone. They say they were hoodwinked and their right to speak violated because Henyard didn't want to hear what they had to say. We thought that they were purposely keeping the public away so that uh, if they did invite us up, time for public comment had already passed. They are violating our rights. I pay taxes here. I have a right to get up and speak whether this administration likes it or not. Now they are going to file a complaint with the Illinois Attorney General's office under the Open Meetings Act. We reached out to Hanyard late this afternoon, have still not heard back. And also shut out of that meeting last night, a local reporter who was just there to hear what the board had to say. We'll have his story coming up at five. Live downtown, Dane Placco, Fox 32, Chicago. Who's this guy? Blocking in Team Tiff? Is that the, is that the chief of police? We're not in Dalton anymore. Hello. Hello. How are you guys township employees? We All have up. to leave our premises. Whatever meeting is going on is at that door. What are you talking about? This is public access. I'm on the buildings and grounds. You cannot be here. Why? This is public access. Pardon me? This is public access. It's not, this is not public access. You cannot is be here. Is there a here. sign? I'm asking you. Is there a leave. sign? I'm, listen, I don't, I'm not going to argue. This is a sidewalk. Sir, sir, I'm asking you to leave. So you're not telling us to leave. You're asking I'm us. asking you yeah, you're asking to us. leave. Okay, but Please. we're not doing anything wrong. You're not doing anything right either. What are so, you talking about? Sir, what? sir. The First Amendment is sir, a right. Sir, sir. 
Are you, you asked us to are leave? Are you a township resident? I'll yes ask or no. the are questions you, are around you here. Hold on, wait. Sir, are you on Team TIF or are you against Team you TIF? To leave I'm asking you whose side you're on. Team TIF or against Team TIF? You said you weren't telling us. We're on a public sidewalk. This is literally this is private property. This is public property. This is private property. Yeah. Have you lost your mind? Sir, sir, sir. Have you sir, completely sir, bumped your head? Sir, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna I'm a tell you something. disabled veteran with PTSD. Good you for are you. That doesn't mean anything. That I, didn't not good for me. I didn't well, come to you. I didn't come to you. You came so, to us. Yeah, you, please leave. You came to us. You, you literally double park. park. Right. Okay. You're blocking in Team Tiff right okay. here. We want to make sure that access is clear for Team Tiff. Hey, come over here. What is the problem? problem? And the I think problem. we need to get this thing rectified. Who are you calling? Problem, dude. All right. You <laughs> are the only problem. And then you said you're PTSD. I don't know what that means. Does that mean you're going to try to get violent with somebody? I mean, let's just be real. What does it mean that you're PTSD? You're literally the groundskeeper trying to give orders? What, what does it mean that you're PTSD and that we're going to trigger you or something? Are you trying to blame us for how you're going to react? That don't fly around here. You know what I mean? You're responsible for how you act. You chose to drive your truck over here. You chose to get far too close to any of us. And as far as I'm concerned, I would prefer to still practice social distancing so you could stay 6 to 10 feet away from me. Is that too much task? I backed up. I'll back up a little bit too, because I don't want this guy's PTSD to get triggered. Because I don't know what that means. I don't know if he's got a weapon in the car. If he's going to plan on pulling out a weapon and like shooting him. But he, he brought up the PTSD for a reason. Is that even a government vehicle you're driving? Or is that your personal vehicle? It would have been easier if you had just read the Constitution before trying to do this, before you bumped your head on the First Amendment like you did. That First Amendment will get you every time. The stupidity and the ignorance within our government, folks, runs deep and is real. Corruption as well, which now the South Holland Police Department has been called to the rescue, folks. Stay tuned. In the end of this video, I'm also going to show you a quick clip on Super Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Stay tuned. Nice shades. Long time no see. I'll be honest with you, this is the first time I'm seeing you. I'm meeting you again. What's your name? What's your name? No, what's your name? I'll ask the questions around here. Uh, no, we haven't no, committed no. a crime. We're on public property. Rojas. No, okay, no, Rojas. What's going on? What are you guys doing? Uh, we're on public property. No, and. This Public. Yes, it is. This is public property. Public meeting, correct? Do you see a sign that says private property? This no. is well, anybody can harassing, the harassing. No, he came up to us. We were just standing on the sidewalk talking amongst ourselves. So right? He comes them? up to us. Okay. He came up to us. That's not harassing. Okay, he came up to us. As you can see, he double parks and then comes up to us, telling us what we we don't even know this guy from from Adam. Yeah. Like we're, you know what I mean? We're, there's, there's a public meeting going on here. Okay. okay there's a news truck right there. Gotcha. You, you see, see what I'm saying? Truck? This is a matter of great okay. public interest public all around this building that you don't seem to realize is public property. Okay. The right of the people to assemble peaceably, the right of the people to press. So why aren't you guys in there then? Well, don't, I'll ask the questions, no, okay? You're not. You're not yeah. Questions. We don't have to be in there. We'll ask the questions around here, Rojas. Are you a police officer? No, I'm one of the people. So then why are you asking me questions? Because that's the power of the people. Okay, they so press on their government. Questions. And I can ask you questions too, right? Well, you're not going to get any answers. How are you doing? What's up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Welcome to public property, man. Yeah, welcome to the public meeting that's going on. <laughs> yeah. What's going on? Yeah, yeah, I like you better already. What's your name? We've met you before. What's your name again? Oh, uh, Reyes, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. How are you doing? You know this is public property, right? I'm good. How are you doing? You know this is public property, right? Public property? Are you doing deaf mute thing? Oh, 
<laughs> this isn't it's funny, man. You're. It's an easy question. I know you. Know you guys. Right? You guys could look Absolutely. really good if you were just like, yeah, you have a right to be here. Of course, you have a right to film. You have a right to peaceably mm -hmm. assemble. At you, base. Have, you have every right to film. For sure. Absolutely, okay. and the right to be here too. This is public property. This isn't private property. This is literally the um, the steps of of city hall. Are you guys the steps of city hall we're doing whatever we want that's in the bounds of freedom okay we don't have to explain it you're trying to but we don't have to tell you what we're doing right so we don't have any ill will or intent i'll tell you that right now you know we're just gathering content we're just gathering content for a story and this guy comes up and tries to tell us that we can't stand on a sidewalk around city hall on the sidewalk over there nah, by that tree you know but i mean we go where we want to go right yeah absolutely we have a right to be here thank you yes goddamn right thank you what's your name well why did you lie to us? Uh, no, hang on now. There's two sides. Did, did, they, did they ask you to leave? Then you're causing yeah. a disturbance? No, we're not causing a disturbance. We were just standing on the sidewalk, not doing anything. Oh! Somebody got moated! For what crime? We have a right to assemble here. We're just standing there on the sidewalk. Tell them the truth, man. You came up to us. Come on, I'm gonna bring you inside. What are you talking about? You guys are here for the meeting? We're here for whatever we want to do, man. Okay. But we've already been excluded from the meeting, if you want to be honest. They never said, no, that guy said that you're more than welcome to be in the meeting. Except that when we tried to go in, the security guard said that it was full and we had to go downstairs. And when we, when we went downstairs, oh, no, 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 at this point, we I'll can, we you can go you. wherever we want. On, we can go wherever we want. I don't need to go in. And I don't need an escort from the South Holland Police Department either. No, the security guard inside. The security. No, we're talking about the security guy inside because we already tried that. We tried to attend the meeting. Yeah, and he said we had to go downstairs and watch it. We're not harassing anybody. We're just standing there. No, we didn't talk to anybody. No, we don't. I don't want to go inside. I'll go wherever I want. I mean, don't lie to me. Don't ever fucking lie to me. It's pretty embarrassing. You just embarrassed your whole department. He looks good, you're gonna look like a, a buffoon. And that's all on you. Fantastic job by these two. Now that's how it's done. Let's go ahead and take a quick peek on Super Mayor Tiffany. Controversy for Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Tonight she's facing three new lawsuits. Our Elizabeth Matthews has details. And Elizabeth, these are from former employees, right? That's correct. We spoke with one of the plaintiffs who says that she was fired for not being a yes man, for not following the mayor's orders, which she told us she calls unethical. These three federal civil lawsuits were filed in court last night. All three state the three former employees were victims of retaliation and administrative assistance as she was let go after refusing to do political campaign work while on village time. A former human resources manager says she refused to dig up dirt on her colleagues and was locked out of the office after after taking FMLA time off. Another employee says she just couldn't go along with Henyard's requests. She didn't want us to process business licenses and permits for certain business owners. How do you know that? Did she personally talk to you about that or how did you know it was coming from her? Yeah, she told me personally because um, one business owner in particular, I told her, I said, there's no reason for this business owner not to get his uh, permits. And she said, I don't care, have his lawyer, contact our lawyer. 
The legislative counsel for the trustees says that he's surprised to learn of only three more of these. He expects that there will be more wrongful termination suits to come. He adds that there's pending about 40 lawsuits right now against the village of Dalton. We reached out to the mayor for comment and have not yet heard back. In Dalton, Elizabeth Matthews, Fox 32, Chicago. Thank you folks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hop on this man's channel, subscribe, give him credit, along with the other channel as well. I'm going to leave both channel links down below once again. Let them know I sent you. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, the bell, and everybody hit the like. Let me know what you think in the comments about this video, folks. See you there. And you know also, we're going to see you on the next video soon. Peace. <laughs>